Yeah, good morning everybody. Welcome to day 11 of the 21 day series of providing some tips to help your community clubs and uh, my name is Terry Dillon. I work for Terry Dillon Solutions. Uh, we're in now 500 plus clubs and 12 sports and growing around the country and Today, uh, my background is is uh, AFL executive for for uh, seventeen years, and I'm still the VP of my local community club in Gippsland, which is Coraline, which I'm actually off to our workshop today. So that's uh, I'll be leaving here very shortly. Um, today, we're going to talk about finances. Uh, it's a real gap in community clubs that I'm dealing with, and there's there's more clubs that I'm dealing with that don't have a budget than not. Um, clubs are literally flying by the seat of their pants and as an accountant by trade I'm really shocked when I see that level of uh, I suppose non um, non reporting and as I suppose it's a great example of the time poor volunteers and they're managing that family life that club life and their work life but if I have to give my clubs a real tip they must focus on you've got to treat it as a, as a small to medium sized business and and the accountability that goes with that is really really high so Often um, with those clubs that don't actually have a budget as such or, or, the, or any planning, um, they end up in debt. And I have more clubs in debt than not. It's really an unspoken truth around community and often the clubs don't tell the leagues or even their members to an extent. Obviously you have your annual general meeting, but it's really, it is a real concern. Um, and often they continue to, I suppose, hide the truth. And there's an element of embarrassment that goes with that. Um, they, they think it'll impact on, on their coaching or keeping their coaching or keeping their players and so forth and hence they try to work through it and sometimes they end up digging themselves a bigger hole. You know, we've got some terrific, well-intentioned volunteers around this country and you know, I, I, I admire all those people who give up their time to help community clubs and, and I just think that if they had that roadmap that, you know, you, we've all heard the expression, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail and and the pressure on the volunteers is huge. And how are we going to pay our bills? How are we going to raise en enough money? The actual accountability on those people as they balance that family work and club life is huge. And you end up losing good people because they just can't manage the, the, the balance or the, the impact of running, running a, club's, a club. And it's often like having a, um, a you know, virtually a half-time job or a part-time job but you're not getting paid for it, and that's the hard part. So when I, when, when I speak to clubs, I always talk about that no person should be in charge of more than two income streams, particularly typically with clubs, they know what their expenses are going to be on average. Um, it's usually where they fall down is their, their revenue, the, and, and they set some targets, and there's usually one person who's driving five or six revenues, and that is not sustainable. They typically do two well, two not so well, and two completely fail and the ones that are the two um, um, revenue earners that fail are as equally as important as those that do well so it's really important that you share the responsibilities of the revenue amongst you, amongst your group and remember you don't have to be on the committee to help there's a real misconception you have to be on the committee to help a lot of people don't necessarily want to go on a committee but I think, uh, you know, we, I know in my local community club, we've had three major fundraisers in the last number of years and, and out of season. And basically, uh, those individuals are not on a committee. And it just shows that they can still make a significant contribution. A couple of tips today. Um, I think from you, your financial reporting on a monthly basis is really important. I provide three templates, exactly the same as what I did at AFL level, but simplified for community, all on one page. We provide a one-page P&L that focuses on forecasting. We have a second document that focuses on um, um, exception reporting. What are the movements, plus, minus? Once you hit your budget in place, each month, what is the things that have changed? And the final report, which is nearly the most important report that I deal with, is the revenue. So I have a one-page slide that covers all your revenues, um, and you have a budget, and you track that month on month, and um, you forecast um, where you're going to finish at the end of the year. And if you can track your revenue and have no person in charge of more than two revenues, um, it just takes a lot of pressure. And that formula does work for a lot of my clubs. Um, I think uh, another short tip for finances, I'm steering my clubs away from cash. Uh, there's a lot of... Um, cash being stolen around clubs and and there's a lot of you know that's a real concern 
I'm saying to clubs, whether it's apparel, whether it's a membership, uh, whether it's some of your functions, um, even even if you have a, can a canteen or bar, have a tap and tap and pay. Um, it's amazing that I have one club who lost thirty grand eighteen months ago. Virtually removed cash from the club, and within twelve months, they turned out around sixty grand and made thirty grand profit. You know, there is a financial roadmap. Um, there is some real tips. Um, they three one pages P and L forecast number one page, an exception report plus minus number two page, the revenue page number three. If you can get those three one page documents for your committee every every week, you're not it's not every week every month. You're not flying by the seat of your pants. Basically, um, we're going to sign off now, but just an emphasis that you know our book will be out, uh, which will help every single volunteer around the country. Uh, that'll be out in the next week or so. Um, go to our website, go to our Facebook page. There's lots of content there, which is my Facebook page is TD Solutions Sports Administration. Website is tdcommunitysolutions.com.au. You know, again, we <clears throat> excuse me, we feel really fortunate to work in this space. Um, we we are making a difference. Um, hopefully, these tips are helping you. Please feel free to share this to anyone you, you think this may be a benefit to. Uh, I'm off to uh, my local club's planning day today. It's a really important day that uh, I think all clubs need to have at the start of the season. Um, and we'll be going through you know, some key points, you know, um, uh, some, some our, our financials. We'll go through our committee structure. We're going to go through our social calendar planning. And uh, just a roadmap uh, so everyone knows exactly what, uh, what's involved. So take care. Uh, today day 11 so we are on the second half of the home straight so uh, thanks for your time and um, uh, enjoy your weekend cheers